Hey guys, what is up? It is Luke here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Terraria 1.3 server. Now, 1.3 just came out yesterday, added over 800 new items, different crafting recipes for different items, and a whole bunch of new cool stuff. And I thought it was really neat, and I wanted to make a server. And I'm imagining that if you have this, you want to make a server for your friends. And so I plan to show you how today. So first, you're going to go into... Uh, let's just go into our Grome first. Get this out of the way. And you're going to type in Terraria. Hit enter. And the first thing that pops up should be terraria.org. You're going to click on it. And it's a really cool website. Nice, nice design here. And you're going to go down to the bottom, way bottom, where you can't scroll anymore. And you're going to click on Dedicated Server. So once you've done that, and you wait for it to download, you just want to take that, put it on your desktop, and what I do is I make a folder, and I'll call it Terraria, mm, Terraria 1.3 server. So then you just, I'm going to take this, <coughs> Excuse me. And I am going to just get to put it in there first. And then you want to extract here. Now I'm going to put the link for WinRAR in the description. That's what I'm using. That's why those books are here. But then once that's done, you can just go there and you can delete that if you want to. You can keep it if you want to make more than one server. But this is my server running computer, so I'm not going to keep it. But, okay, so now you're going to have the Terraria server, the start server, the server config, and the change log. You can delete the change log if you've read it already. It doesn't matter. Alright, so you see that it's just a regular notepad document, just like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Type in notepad plus plus, and you'll go to notepad plus plus home, and you will click download, and you will hit um, this one. Don't click that, that doesn't add. So hopefully it downloads here. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just woke up. <laughs> Yes, I'm not feeling the best today. Alright, so now you're just going to click on that. And hit yes. Okay. Next. I agree. Next. And... Um, I think all of these look good. So then you'll just hit next. And, um... You are just going to do that. Uh, I believe, yes. Install. Alright, so I'll give this a couple seconds to download. It doesn't take too long. Alright, and then you hit... Uh, we don't need to run it now. But now we will finish. Alright, that is done. Actually, I will make a new tab. Close out of that one. Alright, so, alright, is are, are we still recording here? That's good. Okay, so, now, we are going to go, and we are going to right-click on server config, and you are going to hit properties, and you will hit, you see this opens with, opens with notepad, change, and you're going to hit browse, and you are going to find your operating system, your C file. And you're going to search for note. Hmm, well guys. Did it create a desktop icon? Or did it create a Oh, alright, well let's just do this. And this will be easier. We'll browse. Oh. <laughs> I'm blind. Yes. Alright, then you're just going to go to desk, 
desktop and you'll scroll all the way down find notepad plus plus and hit OK and then you'll hit apply hit OK it should change that but maybe if it doesn't that's okay so this is what the notepad plus plus does it makes it wider and it puts it in the line like code would be so you can actually write code in this if you wanted to but I think it just looks a lot better and it works a lot better than the notepad so in here this is the config file for your server and all these little hashtags <laughs> um, they represent that this command is set and even if you changed it but this is still here it'll be the default whatever it was so if you want to change it say we wanted to change the message of the day we will erase that little hashtag and that one and we'll say shape up scrubs all right so sounds about good so now we'll see if that works once we get on our server if we wanted to change the password which we don't I'm just gonna leave it like actually I'm not gonna have a password so we'll do that and we will just delete it alright so that should be good set the port number and that's what we want 7777 max number of players we're going to set to Juan we're going to delete that one and delete that one. And then we're going to set the difficulty of the world. Oops. We want it to be normal. So we'll delete that one. And delete that one. And put, oops, not there. And we're going to delete that one. But as. Oh my goodness. Zero. Alright, there we go. Alright, so if we want us, um, I'm not going to change the world name. We want it to be a large world. And that sounds good. Okay. So, I think this config file is good. So now you will save it. And then you will, then you will close out of that. And then close out of this. <coughs> and then, what you want to do is go into this properties and then dang it guys wait can I change this no I can't maybe it's the name hmm All right. Oh well. All right, guys. I'm gonna figure this out, and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and um, I figured out how to do it. All right. So, what you need to do is you right-click on Terraria Server, create shortcut, and then you go to here and you click Properties, and then if you can see after this .exe here, let's make that bigger. Okay, I guess you can't make it bigger. Alright, so you see after the dot .exe there's a quotation. So you're going to hit space under the quotations. Dash. No, 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 no. Dash. C-O-N-F-I-G. Space. S-E-E-S-E-R-V-E-R. C-O-N-F-I-G. Dot. T-X-T. And that will tell this to load up that config file. So then you're going to hit apply. OK. So then anything that we changed in here will be in here. I think I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. OK. So do you see that I have my tray loaded up now? All right. So now double click on that. Here, let's uh, run run as administrator yes and it will load it up here alright um, let me just load up three trace enter max players 
enter for eight. All right, the port here, seven, 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 it has to be that. So you hit enter. Automatically forward port. I'm going to hit no because I'm going to do that myself. Server password is going to be, let's just say, test. Enter. All right, so it's going to reset the game objects here. Loading the world data. Settling the liquids. All right, start a server. So this, you see that when it's all done, it pops into this screen. And it tells you what version you're running. I'm running 1.3.0.2. It just came out yesterday. I'm listening on point seven 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 seven, And you can type in help. Gives you all that stuff, all the commands that you can do. All right, so now. Okay, so now we're going to just go test this out. All right, load up to area. And multiplayer. Join via IP. Oh my gosh, guys. Whew, that was deafening. All right, join VIP, and we're just gonna join my little leprechaun. Hit play, and then you can do. I believe this will work. Accept seven 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 seven. All right. Yep. There we go. Localhost. That is the okay, so The one two seven point zero point zero point one. That's telling your computer to look at itself, pretty much. Not in a bad way. All right. So. If it works, it'll require your password. So we're going to type in TEST. Hit enter. It found my server, received tile data. And now I'll wait for it to stop um, loading in our guy. And here we are. And see that our. Uh, oops. I drank a builder potion. That's alright. Um, so you saw there in the corner that um, it. It loaded up my config because shape up scrubs is what we put in our config file. So there we go, guys. It worked. But you're thinking, well, okay, that's cool. My friends can't play. Well, I'm gonna fix that. Die. All right. So you're going to get out. Wow, did I really have all that stuff? Dang. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. All right, so you're gonna hit save and exit. It's gonna exit that. You're gonna get out using control, then you hit alt, then you hit escape, and then you let go. And it will pull out there. <laughs> All right. So, see that, that I joined, I left. All right, so we're gonna minimize that. Okay, so now you're thinking, well, my friends can't join. I need to fix that. You are going to go to your start button, wherever that is. And you're going to type in CMD, and you're just going to hit enter. And it'll pull up this. Don't, that, that's not my name. So you're going to hit IPCONFIG, hit enter. And this is going to give you the configuration file for your IP address. So you're going to see all this, your IPv, IPv6, IPv4, subnet mask, and default gateway, all of these things here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your Chrome 192.168.1.1, you'll remember, was my default gateway. So you're just going to go hit enter. And it'll ask you for your username and password. Alright, so if you have Netgear, it's going to take you to the Genie. It'll show you your internet status, stuff like, stuff like that. Advanced, advanced setup, and you're going to go to port forwarding, port triggering. So I already have one port forwarded, but this is my other computer. So I want to port forward this computer. So if you're using Netgear, you're going to hit add custom service. And then you are going to type in Traria 2. 
you don't have to, but I will. It has to be both TCP and UDP. Your port has to be 7777, 7777. And then my IPv4 is what that is. And you're going to look here, 192.168.1.19. 192.168.1.19. All right. So, that'll be good. Okay, so then you're going to hit apply. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I see. Alright, well, let's just go fix that real quick. Well, so you're going to edit service. I guess you guys would have done what I just did. But I'm going to have to do this. Not 19. Alright. So now my computer is port forwarded. And now anyone can join. So I can have my friends join. And we can all play on my server. Which we're going to be doing. We're going to have a Terraria server. Pretty soon. And we'll all be able to play on that. And it will be a good time. So guys. Um... I would really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a Terraria server, obviously, because it just came out and we really wanted to play this for a long time. So we're going to save and exit. You have to save, otherwise it will not it will not save any of your stuff and it'll delete all your stuff and it'll be bad. It's happening before and it really sucks. <laughs> So yeah guys, my Steam name is Luke Plays MC nineteen ninety nine. Go add me on there or I have another account. Um but I have not added myself. Yeah I have. where am I? Here I am. Luke plays MC ninety nine. And so go add me on there. See my account got banned because of some piece of crap. So yeah guys, I will uh I will post the link to Notepad++, um, WinRAR, and what was the other one? I'll post the link to the Terraria website in the description. And um, yeah, guys, we are. I will see you later. Bye bye. You say you're only young.